welcome to video four guys. Today we're going to be working on our balancing and our jumping today. In case you've forgotten, my name's Carla, this is Tyler and this is Anthony. Today we're going to be using a towel for our exercises and just making sure that you get your parents to check out the safety sign. Let's get started. Hey guys, so today for our warm up we're going to be starting with running. So we're going to run around our towel three times. Okay, now we're going to be doing some jumping on our towel. So standing in the middle of your towel and jumping five times as high as you can. Very good. Okay, now we're going to be doing our zigzag jumps. So one foot behind the towel, one in front, hands on your hips, and zigzag jumping all the way to the end of the towel. And the other way. Excellent. Now we're going to be doing our bear walking. So hands and feet on the ground and walking like a bear all the way to the end. And the other way. Very good. Okay, now we're going to be doing our crab walking. So hands and feet on the ground, lifting your bottom up high. And back the other way. Excellent. Now we're going to be doing our caterpillar walking. So hands and feet on the ground in your pike position, walking your hands out and back. Great job everyone. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to be doing our bear walk. So standing at one end of the towel, hands and feet on the ground and walking like a bear all the way to the end. And backwards. And now we're going to go two more times. And backwards. One more time. And backwards. Great job, everyone. Now we're going to be doing our crab walking. So hands and feet on the ground, lifting your bottom up really high, and walking all the way to the end of the towel, trying not to touch your bottom to the ground. And now we're going to go back the other way. And two more times. Keeping your bottom as high as you can the whole time. And one more back the other way. Excellent job. Okay, now we're going to be doing caterpillar walk. So standing at one end of the towel, hands down and walking your hands out as far as you can go. And back up to your feet. One more time. Excellent job, and that concludes our warm up. Great job, everyone. Now we're going to be moving on to our stretching. So, first, we're going to start with skipping with our towel. We're going to step over the towel and back around. We're going to go five forwards and five backwards. And one more. Great, now we're going to go the other way. Stepping backwards over your towel, trying not to touch the ground. Very good, okay, and now with our towel, we're gonna to be doing twisting. So holding your towel at each end and twisting all the way around. Trying to see what's behind you. Two more. Very good, and now we're gonna do our lunges with our towel. So putting your towel on the ground like this, standing at one end of your towel, hands on your hips, and you're gonna lunge forward as far as you can. Keeping your back heel on the ground and pushing your hips forward, holding 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, and same on the other leg. Heel on the ground, pushing your hips forward. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Okay, picking up your towel again and sitting on the ground in your straddle seat. Legs out to the side, point your toes. And now you're going to put your towel 
on your right foot, pulling it towards you and leaning forward. Holding 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very good. And same on the other foot. Hooking it around your foot, pulling it towards you and leaning forward. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One, very good. And now feet together in your pike position. Okay, now you're gonna get your towel and hook them around both feet this time. Pulling them towards you and reaching forward, holding 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very good, okay, excellent. Now we're gonna be doing our ankles. So you're gonna wrap your towel around both feet this time, keeping your chest up and resisting against the towel, pointing your toes and flexing them. Making sure you're doing 10 up and down. You should feel it through your legs the whole time. Okay, very good job and that concludes our stretching. For bean today, we're going to use our towels to make a makeshift bean. So we're going to fold them in half and then fold them in half one more time, just like Nancy's doing. So now we can pop it nicely on the floor and then we can use it as a bean. Let's get started. So for our first activity, we're gonna pop our bean down on the floor. Our big arms are gonna come out, our nice strong airplanes. We're gonna walk on our tippy toes all the way to the end of our towels, making sure we're staying up super duper tall. When we get to the end, we're gonna walk backwards. Make sure again you're staying super duper tall and you're placing both feet on our beam. Let's go two more times. Make sure we're not wobbling, reaching up super tall, going backwards. And last time, bringing it forwards. Awesome, and backwards. Oh, make sure you're not wobbling. Awesome. We're going to keep our awesome aeroplane arms out and we're going to do step kicks now. We're going to start by pointing our toe and having a nice straight leg in front and then we're going to kick it up as tall as it can go and then take a step. Making sure we're keeping our legs nice and straight. I don't want to see any karate kicks, we're doing beautiful gymnastics kicks. And now we're going to go backwards, we're going to kick in front and then step behind. Kick in front and step behind. Again, we're going to do that two more times. Let's go, kicking in front. Pointing those toes, keeping those legs straight, and we're going backwards. Kicking in front, making sure those legs aren't bending, making sure you're not wobbling off your beam. And last one, let's go. Making sure we're staying up nice and tall with our beautiful legs so we've got no wobbles. And our last two. Awesome. So now we're gonna do needle kicks. So we're gonna start by reaching our arms up super duper tall and we're gonna reach forward. We're gonna pop our hands down in our beam while we kick our back leg up to the sky as tall as it can go. We're gonna make sure we're lifting our chest up and standing up nicely at the end. We're gonna try with our other leg, big kick and stand up. Awesome, and swap legs again, big kick and stand up. Now we're gonna turn around and go back the other way on our beam. Three more kicks, making sure you're swapping your legs every single time. We don't wanna be doing the same leg over and over again or else we're gonna have one really flexible leg and one leg that does nothing. Alrighty, turning around, we're going our other way one more time just so we've done both legs evenly. Making sure we're kicking up super duper tall and we're getting our leg as tall to the ceiling as we can go. Awesome, very well done guys. Now we're gonna do our passe steps. Some of you may remember these ones from our gymnastics classes. We're again gonna get our aeroplane arms back out and now we're gonna lift our one leg up and we're gonna bring our toe to our knee. We're gonna make sure that toe is pointed and that it's right on our knee and then we are going to straighten our leg out and then we're gonna take a big step forward. Same thing, lift that knee up super tall, straighten that leg out, take big beautiful steps for me. And we're gonna turn around, go the other way again, make sure our arms are out and we've got some beautiful pointed toes and some beautiful straight legs. And again, I don't wanna see anyone wobbling. We gotta try and stay on our beam as best as we can because we don't wanna fall off. You gotta pretend you're still at gymnastics and there's a long way down to fall, not just the ground right there. Let's go back again one more time. 
me up to the door. Oh, it's a wobbling again. Straight legs. <laughs> and let's keep going. Two more steps. And awesome. That's it for me. We're going to move on to our next activity. So now we're going to play a quick game of stick it. For this game, we're going to be practicing our nice jumps and we're going to make sure we're balancing in our awesome motorbikes. So before we get started, we're going to go through our motorbike landing one more time. I'm sure you all remember this, but we've got to make sure we're doing it perfectly. So we're going to have our feet together, our arms are going to come in front, and then we're going to bend our legs like we're riding an invisible motorbike. Whenever we're doing this, we need to make sure we're holding it for three seconds every single time. So let's go. Show me your motorbike one more time. Very nicely done. So the way stick it works is that each jump we do is a different level. So we're going to start nice and easy on level one with our beautiful straight jumps. We're going to have our arms in front, we're going to swing super tall and we're going to do an awesome jump and we're going to finish in our motorbike. Again, you need to hold it for three seconds before you stand up again. Let's go. One more big straight jump and reaching up super tall and back in our motorbike. Now in order to pass this level, we need to do our jump three times before we can move on to level two. So let's try that again. We're gonna swing, we're gonna reach up, we're gonna land in motorbike, that's one pass. Let's try again. We're swinging, reaching, landing. That's pass number two. And you gotta get your third pass. Awesome. Now we're gonna move on to our level number two. So this one's gonna be a little bit trickier, but you should all know it super duper well. We're going to do our tough jumps. So when we do our tuck jump, we're going to lift our knees up to our belly. We're going to put our hands on our shins and again, back into our motorbike. For this one, we need to make sure we're landing nicely because I know our tuck jumps can get a little bit confusing. Let's show that one more time. We're jumping, our knees come up and we land. Same thing. Before we can pass, we need to do this three times perfectly. So let's go. Let's go. One big jump and land. That's one pass. And number two. Two, three, make sure you're holding that motorbike. And number three. Awesome. Very well done, you guys. Now we're going to move on to level number three. Level three, we're going to do our big star jump. When we do our star jump, we need to make sure we're reaching as far as we can with our arms and our legs, making a nice big star jump. So we're going to swing our arms and again reach and land with our feet back together in our motorbike. Make sure we're doing both reaching and landing with our feet together. We'll show you one more time. Big reach and feet together. And we're gonna do that three more times before we pass. Let's go, big jump and land. And two more, big jump and land. We're holding our beautiful motorbikes. And we're gonna do it one more time, big jump and land. If you didn't land one of those, just quickly pause the video so you can do it again before we keep on going. But if you're doing it all perfectly and you're following along, let's keep going to um, jump number four. So our next level is going to be a half turn. So we're gonna start facing one way and we're gonna finish facing the other way. We're gonna swing our arms, they're gonna go up to our ears, we're gonna jump super tall, turn, and land back in our motorbikes. Let's show you that one more time. We're swinging, our arms go all the way to our ears, we turn, and we land in our awesome motorbike. And again, three more times before we can move on to our last level. And hold, one, two, three, and number two. We're jumping and we're holding our motorbike. Then we're gonna do it one more time. Make sure you're not being a silly sausage and you're only going halfway, not anymore. Awesome, once that's all done, we're gonna move to our level number five. This one's a bit of a fun jump, and I think some of you may know it. It's called our Toyota jump. If you've seen any of the Toyota ads, you know how they finish the ad with their big happy jump. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna start with our arms in front. We're gonna swing again. Our arms are gonna go up super tall. We're gonna bend our legs behind us, and we're gonna have a big smile. You cannot pass this level unless you have a big smile. Let's go, we're gonna do that. We're gonna show you one more time. Big Toyota jump. Awesome. Now you got to make sure you're landing in your motorbike. We don't want to flop around for this one. Let's go. We've got to do it three more times before we can pass. And one, landing, and two, and three. Make sure your smile is absolutely huge. Very nicely done, guys. We're going to move on to one more activity. For this activity, we're going to need to grab our beans out one more time because we're going to do our jumps on beans. So we've got to make sure we're balancing super duper well. For our first jumps, we're going to pop our hands on our hips. 
We're going to put one foot slightly in front of the other and we're going to do a big jump in the air and we're going to swap feet. When we're doing this one, make sure you're landing with your legs a little bit bent. We're doing a mini motorbike landing for this one. So again, big jump and swap those feet over. We're gonna do this 10 times in a row. I wanna see you swapping your feet and not wobbling off your beam. Let's go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nicely done. I hope no one was wobbling. For our next jumps, we're going to go through our stick it jumps again, but we're going to practice them on our beam. So we've got to make sure we're landing super duper precisely so we don't fall off. So we're going to do levels one to three. Level one, I'm sure you remember it, is our awesome straight jump. So same thing, we need to land it three times before we move on to our next level. So let's start. Big straight jump, arms in front and swing our arms and big jump up and land motorbike. One, two, three. Three, and let's do it two more times. Big swing, jump up, land. One, two, three, make sure you're not wobbling. And one more, big jump, motorbike. One, two, three, very nice. And I'm sure you know what's next, tuck jumps. Let's go, big swing, big tuck, lift those knees up super tall and landing back on our beam. Make sure for this one, you're landing straight on your beam and not off to the side. Let's do it two more times. Big jump, tuck, and hold. One, two, three, and last one. Make sure it's perfect. And landing on our beam again. Very nice. For our star jumps in level three, we're going to go sideways on our beam just so we have even more space. Let's go. Big swing, big star jump, and landing back in our motorbike. Make sure you're not falling off of your beams. Let's try that again because Nancy didn't pass that one. Let's try one more. And big jump. There we go, that's a pass. Let's do two more. And big jump. Awesome, and last one. Make sure if you didn't pass all three jumps, you just do it again before you move on. Now, for our last jump we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to our passe steps that we did earlier. I'm sure you all remember them and you can get your nice legs out and your pointed toes. We're gonna go our arms out in our nice aeroplane. We're gonna lift our toe to our knee like we did before. We're gonna extend it out. We're gonna hold for two seconds and then we're gonna hop to our front leg. For this one, it is a little bit tricky because you do have to balance. So make sure your arms are super strong and that back leg is coming up just a little bit so you can balance. Let's try it again. We're gonna lift our knee up. We're gonna extend our leg. We're gonna do a little hop and land. Making sure the leg we're landing on is bent so you can balance a bit better. Let's do that again. So we're going to lift our knee. We're going to extend our leg and we're going to hop and land. Making sure we're landing on a bent leg so we can balance better. Let's go lifting our knee up, extend, hop, land. Very nicely done. We're going to do that two more times on each leg. So we've got to make sure that our, both our legs are getting nice and strong. Let's go. Lift, extend, hop, land. And one more on this leg, lift. Extend, hop, land. And our other leg, two more times. Let's go. Lift, extend, hop, land. And last one. Make sure this one's the best one you've done today. Lift, extend, hop, land. Very nicely done, guys. Stay tuned for our challenge. For our challenge today, we're going to go back to our stick it jumps and we're going to make it even trickier. So we're going to try and land on one leg. So, same as before, we're still landing in our motorbike like we did for our passe step, but on one leg. So whenever you're landing, we're gonna bend that leg and we're still gonna have our arms out in front of us so we're having a nice strong landing. So, for our first jump, we're gonna do our straight jump and we're gonna do a big jump and land on one leg. Let's go, swinging our arms, big jump, and on one leg. I know it's a little bit tricky, so you gotta make sure we don't wobble. Let's try that one more time. We're gonna do a big jump. And we're going to reach and land on one leg. For our next one, we're going to do our tuck jump again. Same thing, you've got to lift one leg up and only land on one leg. For this, I want you to try and use your other leg this time. It's going to be a little bit harder, but I think you can do it. Let's go. Big swing, big jump, and back on one leg. And let's try one more time. Let's go. Big tuck jump, 
And landing on one leg. <laughs> now we're going to move to our star jumps. So same thing. You need to bring your legs back together, but you're only going to put one foot on the ground. Let's go. Big jump. And legs out. In. And on one leg. And do one more. We're going to go big out. Big in. And then on one leg. Awesome. Same thing for our half turns. For this one, because we are rotating, it's going to be an extra wobbly. So you've got to make sure you're bending that leg and balancing super duper well. Let's go. Half turn, big jump, and turn, and leg on one leg. Let's try again. And one, two, three, big jump, turn, landing on one leg. Now, this one is going to be the hardest one out of all of them. But again, you're not going to be able to do it unless you have your amazing smile on your face. We're going to try our Toyota jump and land on one leg. Let's go. Big jump, big smile. Let's go. And leg, one leg. Let's try it one more time. One, two, three, big jump. And landing on one leg. Now, I hope you guys found that a little bit tricky, and that's a good thing. It means you're pushing yourself to do really well. Good job, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all had fun. And remember to keep fit, make friends, have fun.